Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Starlord and today I'm going to be showing you where to find all 14 Nuka Cola recipes in the new Nuka World DLC. Now guys, I would like to say that I have avoided all kinds of spoilers, so you do not have to worry about the story being ruined. And I would also like to say that I found a very secret Nuka Cola recipe that actually isn't in the base game. So if you want to find out what that recipe is, then make sure that you wait till the end of the video and there will be a link, just click it. But for now, let's find these 14 Nuka recipes. Okay, so for our first recipe, we need to go to Nuka Town, USA. You can find it on the map right here, but I doubt you guys will have any problem with this as it is the place that you enter when you come into Nuka World. Once at this sign, we want to head forward and just turn to our right, just ignore all the NPCs. And then we want to go to where all of their shops and the raiders are and the traders, and you will see a place called Cappy's Cafe. We need to go inside there. Once inside, you will see a lot of raiders. We just need to go to the very back room. It's pretty simple. As you can see, it's to the back and turn right. And right there on the table, you will find the recipe for Nuka Side. Yes, that's easy, guys. Okay, so now that one's over, let's move on to the second Nuka recipe. Okay, for this next one, we are going to need to go to the Grand Chester Hotel. You can find it on the map in the very bottom left hand side. It is pretty easy to find. I would say it's one of the only memorable locations down that area. It is outside the park. But once we're here guys, you will see a robot on the front desk. We need to go through the front entrance. Once inside, you need to navigate through all of the house. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to skip to the end as I know some of you guys really do not like spoilers. So I do want to avoid that at all costs. Okay, so once you're at the end of the house, you should see a door with a big red exit sign above it. We want to just turn right. And on this dressing table right here, as you can see, there is the next Nuka recipe, which is called nice. Nuka Punch. Pretty easy, pretty awesome. So yeah, let's move on to the next. For this next one, we are traveling to the zoo area of the map, which is called Safari Adventure, and it is pretty easy to find. You can find it at the very top end of the Nuka World map. There it is right there, and there is the normal Kitty Kingdom, King Colas, so it's pretty easy to find. Once here, we need to find the welcome center and go inside. Once inside, there will be a couple of enemies. You just want to take them out, kill as many as you can. And we're going to head down the stairs here and we need to go to this little receptionist bit right here. If you go into the little square box, as you can see on the right hand side there, we have the new recipe for Nuka Rush. It's that simple. So let's move on to the next. Once again, this next Nuka recipe can be found yet again in Safari Adventure next to the reptile house and by this big boat. Once here, we want to go down to this stairway and you will see two advertisements for Nuka Cola. Just turn right into this employees only zone and continue going forward. Just watch out, there are a couple of enemies coming out of those little ant piles. But once inside here, we need to lockpick this door and on the right, we will find the Nuka Hearty recipe. I actually haven't crafted this one. So yeah, I'm going to have to do that after this video, I guess. That's yeah, I've not really done that one. So yeah, anyhow, guys, let's move on to the next recipe location. Okay, so now in this area, we can actually find three of them cramped pretty close together. This area is called Dry Rock Gulch. And like I said, yes, there is three that can be found. There is on the map for all of you who don't know exactly where it is. And we need to locate this area right here. You will see a roller coaster that has crashed to the ground. We need to head in that direction over to the theater. Once here, we want to go through this door right here on the left. Kill all of the enemies as there will be quite a lot. Head up these stairs right here and then up to the ladder. And then once on top of the roof, you will see on the desk right there next to the Nuka Victory, Nuka Extreme. Yeah, pretty easy. 
Now for the second, we do need to go to the theater again, but instead of going into that doorway, we want to continue forward. You will see a Sheriff Hawk standing around greeting people, but we don't want to go there. We want to go into this doorway right here. Make sure that you do have your lock picking up as this is an expert lock that you will need to break past. And once you have guys, we just want to go inside the room, turn right, and right there we have Nuka Sunrise. I actually thought it was pretty awesome the way they, you know, combine the Sarsaparilla Sunrise with the Nuka. That's, that's pretty cool. Uh, but yes, let's move on to the third Nuka recipe in this area. The last Nuka recipe in the Dry Rock Gulch area can be found by the blacksmith. I'm sorry I didn't pull up my Pip-Boy map, but once you do find it, just go through this little alleyway and we will be at the minecart coaster. You want to just go to the edge of that building right here and here on this little food cart, you will see Nuka Bomb Drop recipe. Pretty cool. But yeah, guys, let's move on to another recipe that is out of this area. Okay, for this next one, everybody, I would recommend you do stock up on a lot of ammunition. This one is a pretty hard one to get to. But of course, we want to go to the Galactic Stone, in which we need to go to the Battle Zone, which can be found just above and to the right of the Galactic Zone. Once here, we want to go inside and honestly, prepare yourself. Okay, so I have actually killed everything inside of here, so it was a bit easy. But once inside, we want to go down these stairs here. And we want to just take a right into the bottom of these stalls. Once here we want to turn right again and go through to the gift shop. Here you will find a kind of shelving area with everything stacked onto it. And right here you will see a collection of books. One being the Nuka Ray recipe. Why you would put a recipe for one of your Nuka Colas in, in there, I don't know. But <sighs> whatever, logic, Bethesda. Let's move on to the next Nuka recipe. So again we are back at the Galactic Zone and this time we want to go to Star Control which is pretty easy to find. It is actually the Galactic Zone minimap icon. So yeah, just fast travel there and you'll be right here. Once here we want to turn left and go towards Star Markets. As you can see right there, Star Markets, it's where I sell all of my all of my women and we want to go forward to this kind of shelving unit and on these shelving units there should be a book but it's not there so I'm assuming it's the one B. yep there it is so once here we will find the Nuker Cooler recipe nice. pretty simple to find very easy find it very early on but yeah now you can craft Nuka Cooler so let's move on to the next one in the Galactic Zone the last one in the Galactic Zone is at the Starlight Interstellar Theater. You guys shouldn't have any problem as it's really close to the previous one. We just want to go inside. Once inside, we are going to navigate to the right hand side and watch out there are a couple of Robocons around. Kill them all and go to the theater. Here you should see the big screen. We want to look at where the projection booth is and on, normally it's here. Normally it is right there on the desk but Mine fell over, I don't really know why, but here you will find the Nuka Void Recipe. I've actually yet to craft that one, I don't know what the hell it looks like, so after this video, I am going to craft that and take a look. So yeah, enjoy having your Nuka Void Recipe. Let's move on to the next one. So this next Nuka Cola recipe can be found outside of Nuka World in which you will have to travel to and it can be located in this huge factory right here and on the map as you can see it's on the very far left hand side of the map. It is in fact the Nuka World power plant. It is what's supplying the power to this whole theme park. Again to the very far left hand side of the map. Once here we want to kill whatever enemies are stopping you and go through to the front entrance right here. Once inside, you will want to kill all of the enemies, and I actually have a bit of a quicker way to reach the end of this map by glitching. We're going to jump on top of this blue container right here, then again to the lockers, and then we're going to jump over towards the pipes. Here we will jump on the cage and line yourself up to the catwalk. You just need to kind of strafe jump onto it, turn around, and there you go guys. You actually don't have to go through the whole actual factory to reach this Nuka recipe. Normally that would take you quite some time actually, so yeah, pretty happy about that. Here you will find the Nuker 
power Perfect. recipe. Quite fitting. But yeah, guys, if you actually like that little bit of a quickie, then uh, then tell me. I love giving quickies, and I'm pretty sure you guys like receiving them. Yeah. Anyhow, let's move on to the next one. This next Nuka recipe can be found outside, again, of Nuka World. And next to this big fire hydrant, actually. Is that real? Is that actually a thing in America? That's pretty cool. But, again, going to the map, we need to find the Hubologist's Camp. Again, it can be found outside of Nuka World, so you will get there a little bit later on in the game. But, yeah, once here, we will see this diner. Go inside the front entrance right here, just turn left after the stairway, and simply right there on the table we have Nuka Fruity, which is sounds actually pretty nice. I would really like to do that. I'd like to taste that. So yeah, but yeah guys, let's move on to the next one. The next recipe you're looking for is at the Kitty Kingdom Theater, and it's actually not that hard to find. You will find it on the map under King Cola's Castle. And uh, just for any of you who are new to the DLC, there is the base game right there at the bottom, and that's about how far you have to travel for this recipe. So there is right there. Once here, guys, we just want to go through the red doors and into the theater. Once inside, we want to turn right and go through to the actual main theater now, in which you will see a lot of props. Just go up to the main stage in which the spotlight is shining down from. Go through here to the left, and then again to the right. And there should be two back rooms. We want to go to the one on the right hand side. And inside this star's dressing room, I guess, you will find it right here. The Nuka Berry Recipe Very is that simple. You guys may actually meet somebody new in this area, but do not worry. I avoided them for spoiler reasons. But enjoy your new Nuka Berry. Let's move on to the very last Nuka Recipe. So, this last Nuka Cola recipe is kind of a bitch to get, I guess, but we want to travel to the Fun House in Kitty Kingdom. Right there, you can see on the map Fun House, and I did manage to fix my map glitch right at the end of the guide. So, I am very sorry of you who had to suffer through that very dark map screen. Really sorry about that, it's now fixed. We want to go inside the Fun House. Once inside, we want to turn to the right, and there will be a lot of interaction, but don't worry guys, I have avoided it all. We just want to follow exactly where I go. I cannot exactly tell you left from right because I'm just moving too quickly here, but yeah, just keep on going the way I go. Slow down the video if you need to, and I would suggest bring a shotgun because there are a lot of close combat enemies in here. Once here, we will see Cappy pointing to the exit, just go that way. And yeah, watch out for those grenades. Here there will be a conveyor belt pushing you back. Just keep on jumping away from that so that you do go forward. Jump on these spinning nuka uh, kind of platforms, I guess. This is getting really fast paced for me right now. And uh, we want to jump over here. Now we want to open up this door. Go all the way forward. Turn right. Turn left. And then turn left again. Down that little hallway there, you can actually find his scav magazine, which I do have a guide on. So if you don't know where to find the scav magazines, then the link will be, uh, you know, on my channel. So make sure that you go through that. Once here, you will see that there are gaps in this little pipe. Just pace yourself. Don't rush through it too quickly or you will fall into the nuclear water. But yeah, you've pretty much made it now, guys. Once here, we want to open up the door and you should be in a room that is kind of like went crazy I guess so yeah kind of just go through that open up this door and you will be on the splitting platform from the game we want to go to the first red door that we see on the left or the second sorry actually let's see so one two yeah it's the second red door on the left here we want to open that up jump through if we can yeah there you go go through this door right here and to be honest, guys, you've pretty much got the recipe. It's pretty much yours. Just go through this little maintenance part right here, up into the main control room. And there we have it, just inside here. The Nuka recipe should be somewhere here. So there is right there. That is the Nuka Elixir recipe. Yes. Pretty much that simple, guys. Anyhow, that has been it for today's guide. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I am very sorry that it was a bit lengthy, but as I did say, it is a very complicated and detailed guide. Anyhow, guys, remember that I do have a secret Nuka recipe formula on the click link at the very end, so make sure that if you want to, 
check it out. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya.